off-grid stores here with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how to connect your ecoflow could be delta max delta or delta pro i believe the rivers and other things like that do have different connections i'm not very well versed in them to a solar panel so there's just going to be one solar panel just for the people out there that really don't know much about solar in general or are just getting started confused by it after this video you should be a solar professional so let's get into it so firstly you want to turn on your delta max it can just be a long hold on the front or just a press on the front sometimes the button takes a little bit to get started once it's on if you just got it delivered it usually comes from what i've seen with around 30 percent battery what i like to do is charge it up with the actual ac charger from a wall first get it up to about 100 percent but it's not 100% necessary. You can just plug it straight into a solar panel, solar panels, however you want. So in order to plug it into solar panels, you're gonna need these wires. They look nicer when you first um, get them, not all jumbled up, but for our use case, they're gonna be jumbled up. As you can see at the end of these wires right here, there is going to be two different connector cables, red and black. And they look just like the cables that are on the back of your solar panel. So honestly, all you really do need to do is just plug them together. But I'm gonna give you a little bit of a background because you know, not always is it just one panel. Sometimes you might be confused. Maybe your panel comes from a, a place that, you know, maybe it's coming from overseas and it doesn't follow all the guidelines or whatever. Um, I'm gonna give you a way to try to just be able to figure it out in any use case. Then by the end of the video, we're going to connect them. And then once they're connected, then, you know, you're going to see that it actually does work. Although we are currently inside, so I'll have to bring it outside. Once they're connected, put in the sun just to show you what it looks like. So basically what we need to do is one, we need to turn the unit around. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to turn it and then I'll get back to you. So now that the unit is turned around, you will see that up at the top right here, there is multiple different inputs that we can have. So if I flip this open, you will see that there is, this is where we're gonna be plugging the orange part of this cable into, but you'll also see that there's a slow and fast charge. This only has to do with the AC. So if you're plugging in this part into the wall, then that's where you would plug this in. You can pick either slow or fast, and this is if it, to reset it, if it um, trips basically. So we only need to worry about this one little port right here. And this is also the same port, excuse me, that you would plug the car charger in if you are going to use the car charger. So you can't use the car charger and solar at the same time. Car charger's not that great anyways. So basically all you really have to do is with one hand, I will come here, we look at it, round side is up, plug it in that's pretty much that so now I guess the main confusing part would be positive versus negative so I don't know how you want to remember it or what method excuse me or what method you want to actually use to remember it but positive is always going to be red negative will always be black in a DC system this is DC direct current not alternating current but one way to notice is if we come around here onto the actual panel itself you will see that there's a minus and a positive so positive is red minus is black as you can tell they're all black here all the way up one thing to notice is one this panel in specific puts a plus with a red plus right there so you know it's positive and it's red and a minus with a black minus but also if we look at the mc4 connector itself that's what the name of this connector is you will see that there is a plus and that there's a red little band right here and that this one doesn't have a red band and there's a minus on it right here so one thing to be said is that also to make even more sense this one is called the male connector for obvious reasons and this is the female connector we're not going to get into any controversies about that that's just what the connectors are called so basically you don't even need to really worry about positives minuses or negatives or anything like that 
if you just plug a male into the female. In this world of connectors, two males don't plug into each other. So you would have to plug it into literally the only other option, which is red, red. But as you can see on this side of the red, it's, it's a minus. So you don't want to get confused and say, oh, well, maybe this is the negative. No, it's because this. Always just think of coming out of the panel. If it's red, it's positive. And if it's not, it's negative. But you could also just plug these together. So with one hand, I'll even show you that it's possible with one hand. There we go. Plug, you want to hear that click and you're good to go. And then although this one does have a red band on it, it's not coming straight out of the panel. So you take the negative side, the female connector, and you plug it into the male. And there we, there we go. So this is it. This is it all plugged together. But one, the panel is facing downwards. Two, the panel is not outside. So if I put the camera down for a second, and if I press right here, you'll see that the input is gonna be that number at the top is a zero. So we're gonna bring this outside and we're going to make that not a zero, just to show you. All right, so here we are. And as you can tell, oh, I'm standing in front of it. But as you can tell, I clicked or I brought it outside. I put them all together. I put it in a decently sunny location, nothing great. This is a 100 watt panel just for the sake of the video. It's getting good sun. And as you can tell, it's drawing 80 watts right now, 81, 80 watts around there. As you can see, it says it'll charge in two hours at 95%. When you plug it all in and everything connects into the sun, you'll hear it click. And that's when you know it's getting power. But it's pretty much as simple as that. That's why I call it solar for dummies. It's super easy to do. Um, obviously, this is not an ideal setup, but this is just for the sake of the video. And again, just to show what an obstruction looks like, I covered it with my hand, even though the whole thing is not covered and it's rocking zero watts. And if I pull away, immediately at 80. So you want to make sure that everything's unobstructed because the second that it's not in peak full sun is when you start to really mess things up. Like even if I go like that, I dropped it down to 40-ish or 30. So always make sure to keep it clean and as much sun as possible. And yeah, hopefully this video was helpful. Check out our kits online. We have a kit for everyone's need. Thank you.